cyclin-dependent kinase, activation of CDK2 by cyclin E, and activation of CDK5 by P25. Cyclin-dependent kinase 2, or CDK2, has an N lobe and cyan and a C lobe in blue with magnesium ATP at the cleft between the two lobes. N lobe has a beta sheet in yellow with five beta strands and an alpha helix in purple. C lobe has four alpha helical bundle in purple, three short beta strands in yellow and a beta hairpin, and additional alpha helices in magenta. CDK2 is activated by cyclin A in green. Cyclin A consists of 12 helices, arranged into 5 helical tandem structural repeats in green and yellow, and the N and the C terminal helices in gray. Cyclin A in green binds to the alpha C helix in yellow of the N lobe and moves it toward the catalytic cleft between the N lobe and the C lobe. In the absence of cyclin A, the activation loop in pink blocks the catalytic cleft. In CDK2 cyclin A complex, the activation loop in red interacts with the N-terminal cyclin fold. An alpha helix within the activation loop in pink in the absence of cyclin A, melts to make a room for the alpha C helix movement in yellow. Before phosphorylation, the threonine 160 is solvent exposed for interaction with CDK activation kinase. After the cyclin binding, the activation loop in pink is phosphorylated by CDK activating kinase for further activation. The threonine 160P is hydrogen bonded to arginine from the alpha C in yellow, and with the catalytic loop, and with the activation loop in pink. The activation loop in red moves away to make a room for the substrate. P25NCK5A in green, a potent activator of CDK5 in blue, has 8 helices. Five helices of P25NCK5A in green has a cyclin box fold in yellow. P25NCK5A in green tethers the non-PHOSPHORYLATE deactivation loop in red in an active conformation.